Hello friends, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you a technique by which you can create a table of content with just one click. I have this document and this document is of 62 pages. You can see it right here. Now to quickly create a table of content, you have to place your cursor to the place where you require table of content. So I'm just placing it at the starting of my document. And now you have to go to the reference tab in Microsoft Word and here you just have to click on table of content here and there are three pre-formatted table of content you can select any one of these for this video i'm just going to proceed with the second one and the moment you click you get table of content and this table of content is pretty awesome it gives you all the headings or subheadings or subsections and it also gives you page number and this, this is a tab leader now you can format all these things if you want if you don't want tab leader you can just remove it if you don't want page number to appear you can remove it and all these things but we'll look at this formatting table later but let us see how this table of content is generated to get table of content by this way you have to make microsoft word understand that this is the thing that i want in table of content and this is thing that i don't want microsoft word puts all the things that are styled as headings in this table of content now anything that is not an heading will not appear in this table of content for example see this is my text so i don't want this text to appear in table of content so this text is formatted as just normal but i want this heading to appear in table of content so this text or this heading is marked as heading level 2 so all the text which are marked as headings can appear in table of content so i'll give you a quick demo so i have this text that i want in table of content so this h1 h2 h3 and h4 refers to heading 1 heading 2 heading 3 and heading 4 now let us say this is my first level heading i just click heading 1 and you can see that this text is formatted like this now if you don't like this kind of formatting you can just right click on heading and click on modify and then you can set any of the formatting parameters for example font font size bold underline center aligned and all the various kind of formatting parameter which are available so this is just the main page if you want to format font in detail you can just click here in paragraph details like spacings and other things then you can click here and there are various things that are available but i'll not go in detail so you, you can create a shortcut key for a particular heading style and to do that you can just click on shortcut key and then you can assign a shortcut key for that particular heading for heading one i'll just use a shortcut key that is control numpad one now to assign a shortcut key you have to place your cursor here and then type the shortcut key that you want to assign and microsoft word will automatically take it after assigning it you just have to click on assign and then close and then close heading is already linked to my multi-level list so this seven indicates that this is a chapter number seven because the earlier chapter was chapter number six so if you want to learn how to link multi-level list to heading please watch my other video similarly i can assign shortcut for heading two heading three and heading four i've already assigned a shortcut that is control numpad 2 for heading 2 again control numpad 2 for heading 2 this is control numpad 3 for heading 3 and this is control numpad 4 for heading 4 and anytime you can just go and change the formatting of all these headings to include all these things in table of content so let us write some random paragraph after this thing is done you can update the table of content to get the new headings in your table of content and to do that you have just have to go to the table of content and then click here which says update table and now you will have two options first option is if you want to just update page numbers only then you select this but if you want to update the entire table along with page number then you click on the second option second radio button which says update entire table and then click ok after clicking here you can see that heading h1 h2 and h3 has appeared but h4 is not appearing so the table of content ends here without h4 the reason is by default table of content will show only up to heading 3 so if you want to include more heading level in table of content then you have to format the table of content now to format table of content what you have to do you just have to go in reference tab and then click on table of content and at the bottom you will say custom table of content now here you will have a couple of options first option is whether you want to show page number or not right so if i just uncheck this so the table of content will look like this so this is just a preview of table of content now without page number it looks like this so if, if i just check this box it will show this now these dots are called as a tab leaders so if you don't want tab leader then you can just click on none so it will just remove tab leader so this is option that you can get and if you don't want to write line page number you can just check this so the page number will be very much near to this heading i generally prefer to have a tab reader and write line the page number so i'll just 
code in format like this here it shows formats from template you can have table of content of different formats you can just play with this format i like the default format so i'm just, I'm just keeping this as from template this is show levels so show level four means it will show heading up to level four in table of content so if i just make it three you can see in the preview tab headings up to heading three are only appearing in table of content heading four is not appearing so if you want to include heading four you can just change it to four and you can see this heading four this is a style that will appear in table of content i'll just make it four and then click on ok and after pressing it it will ask me whether you want to replace table of content i'll say yes and now i will get heading four in table of content that's all about table of content microsoft word if you have any doubt any query about table of content or anything about microsoft word please comment it i'll try to reply as soon as possible and if you want to see more such videos like this then please consider subscribing to my channel and pressing the bell notification icon so don't miss any of my future videos so thank you friends for watching this video